Okay, so the question is how do we change large lists of text where we only have to change a small par part of the text? So this is kind of admin work, but it's applicable to, for example, part libraries. So we've got wall modules and Sweet Home 3D. We've got to do 69 of them in total. And here we have a part library, <coughs> a gallery. Now what's the, what's the text underneath it look like? So this is uh, how you do the part library file bunch of text but you got to replace the number from 1 to, to 69. Now um, how do we do this? So we start by putting the, the text into a spreadsheet and divide it in such a way where the number that you change is the last in any given column. So for example see you go home 2 wall 1 um, and just to show you this this is this is uh, what I put into the spreadsheet so this number at the end is the thing that's going to change Okay, so now if I've got a total of 69 wall modules, um, let's just drag it down all the way to 69. There it is. So now this has changed from 1 to 69. I didn't have to do this by hand, but from here on, we've got to get rid, rid of some of these spaces. So here we can use a find and replace tool online. So let's, let's do that. Uh, it's called unit dash conversion dot info and in link in a link in a video description uh, so find and replace text so now we've got our text so we've got a whole list of stuff it's not formatted perfectly well there's some extra spaces because we're just using a a spreadsheet like here which does that uh, so we're not using any special program, just using online tools. Okay, so we got to get rid of these spaces in mass. So we start doing that by, okay, for example, here we've got an extra extra space there. So find that space, replace it with just a period. Let's find that again. So there's that space, control C, control V. It's not working for me there. One, two, three. Um, one, there's two spaces there, so that should do it. <coughs> replace text online, find text, replace with. Um, let's try this. Find, replace. Yeah, that's working there. Uh, it, <coughs> dot p all well, in principle this should be just this dot here okay good so we replace this space here that space there great so now we copy all of this control a um, and paste it into the let's go through this again because there's more spaces to copy and paste uh, I messed it up oh, let's try that again control c so this is you gotta get good at this you gotta <laughs> Um, mind your spaces and every little detail but if you do this right you'll make it work so here we got rid of the first space already control A control C and then we paste it up here so this is better um, now we get rid of this space here so take this get rid of that space control C and replace that with just the apostrophe okay there so we got rid of this space here so now we copy all of this um, uh, now we get rid of the last space here which is um, this space right here uh, looks also like we've got, do we have a line break there? Not sure. No, actually we don't. That's just how it appears on the screen. But here we've got to get rid of this space. Control C. Control V. And replace that just with the one bracket. So as you see here, now this text is formatted well. Now what's missing? last thing that's missing is space carriage breaks between each each line since this is going into the wiki like you see here in the wiki there's a space between each line um, 
So now we're going to go to the, so we got the correct text here. And our point where the return is going to be is after the double bracket. So we're going to do add line breaks. Needle, needle is the place where you actually, uh, the point where you replace. But now it may, may this all disappear. Um, let's see if that's still correct. Yeah, that, that looks, how does this look? Uh, looks good to me, so we just need uh, a return. There we go. So first, I got to control A on this, control C. So now, when I go to add line break, see it makes everything disappear. So I got to paste it in again. Uh, but yeah, that's what it did after this double bracket, which is found. Let's hope it didn't put a double a space after this. Did it? Yeah, uh, it did. So let's reframe that to say double bracket space. And then the result should be, well, that didn't do it for me. Um, where after, before, after, okay, so let's try this. It did that, but how does that appear in a wiki now? Oh, I've got the space in there. See, it gives me uh, this unnecessary return here. So I need to fix that. And to do that, why don't we replace, so this is, um, we could probably take the space dash dash and replace that with no space dash dash. So how about that? It's control A, control C. Now we got to go back to the find replace. So so here's that. We want to get rid of this space here. So we're the return there. So control C here. Do that and replace it just with dash dash. Did that work? No. Um, oh, I think maybe what we need is dash dash space. Replace that with dash dash. Or how about no? find text replace with what's going on here it's not working so I'm trying to okay so okay let's see did that get rid of the space no so I'm trying to get rid of this return here add line remove line breaks so let's try that again control a Control C, let's go to remove remove line breaks. <coughs> Input data. It's that. Um, yeah, it did remove the line breaks, but now how do I add the line break where it's supposed to be? And 
So how would I identify the correct place here? So it's yeah, it removed all the breaks. So maybe um, add line break at space file because file is the it's supposed to be the wherever it says. Base file, replace that. Yeah, put a line break before space file, which is only at the very beginning. So let's try that. Control C, Control V. So that's remove line breaks. And here we're going to go to add line breaks. So go here. Line break should be added. File. Where's the unique identifier for the location where it needs to be? Um, if we look at the very beginning, so zip, okay, it should be before, well, actually, after, it's either after, before, or instead. Uh, can we get rid of a space instead of a space? No, because it wouldn't. There's spaces here. Space F before space F. There's no un good unique identifier here. Um, how about let's just take seh2 wall two or seh2 wall like before this because this yeah this is not found anywhere so yeah add a line break before this so the needle is going to be that means where you're taking a line break and say before did that work um, yeah no output add line break before how about after no okay we got pretty close here I'm just gonna take this then uh, so a little technicality here which prevents me from doing this effectively but let's control C and now we can actually put in this whole gallery in one piece um, control V bam it's right there now let's see what that looks like do I get a big gallery <coughs> of empty spots yeah I do get a big gallery and it it titles does it title it correctly so wall module 1 uh, Sweet Home 3D, SHD Wall 1, and then it goes Wall 2, Wall 3. Now the build cheat sheets, oh, there's a triple, oh, there's a triple mark there, so that's not working. I need a link to the build cheat sheets. Where did that come from? Oh, yeah. Somewhere I messed it up here in this process. Um, so maybe... <clears throat> And go back to replace text so <clears throat> go back to this um, now find the triple bracket and replace with double bracket so this text here should be good 
Now let's redo this here. <coughs> One, two. So let's replace this. Control V. And did I seed a library from part one to 69? Yeah, that's good, that's good. It gets me up to, so this would take manually, this would take a bit of time. Now I was fumbling around with the find and replace and the spreadsheet thing. Uh, I'll link to these things, uh, test, call it a test. It's an advanced find and re replace workflow. Test advanced, find and replace. Great, I'll link that in a video. And I'll link this tool here where we went through the successive find, replace, and then add line breaks. So this is a way to do it if you don't program this in, like with Python or whatever language. Um, uh, I was trying to find a quick way, and it's if done right, this probably could be quick here once we get a hang of it. But yeah, it definitely takes some mental manipulation, mental gymnastics to make this work, because you gotta keep track of all your punctuation very carefully. But we did end up seeding this whole part library and now we can get to work on filling in all these modules. Uh, so I'll leave it at that. Let's see, did I miss any details? I'll send a link to this and this. And of course this is collaborative development so if you have an easy way to do this, meaning if you have an ordinal list of complex syntax like when you're doing programming or wiki editing and stuff like that how do you very simply change the number from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 and so forth for a very large list now here we had 69 items imagine we were working with more like an order of a hundred or a thousand I mean this would definitely make sense to do it automatically like this by copy and paste using simple tools so you don't have to program it. But that's the idea, save yourself a little bit of time by automating this administrative work. Thank you, leave it at that.